Well, a bar in Portland, Oregon offered a reparations happy hour earlier this week in which white people were not invited to attend, but were invited to pay for. About 100 people did pay their racial indulgences. That provided enough cash to cover free drinks for the non-white people who showed up. What is this about exactly? Well, Cameron Witten is the activist who organized it, and he joins us tonight. Hey, Cameron, how you doing? Hey, Tucker. It's good to see you again. Nice to see you. So what's the, what's the thinking here? So Reparations Happy Hour is a event that was a successful event that was put on by nonprofit Brown Hope. You can find more information out on brownhope.org. And what we did was that 40 black, brown, and indigenous people attended this event. We had over 150 white people donate. And this wasn't about alcohol. Um, I've been sober for 27 years, so you can trust that I was not putting on an alcoholic event. What we did was we built community and we made a space to heal from the impacts of racism. And I believe that you as a conservative can respect the fact that we had people voluntarily support this event and show that we as individuals can take action to heal from the impacts of racism. It's a little patronizing, no, though? I mean, because the, the assumption is that all mm -hmm. black people are poor and need the help of white people, and it makes the white people feel virtuous, like they're coming to the rescue, and, it, and I don't know how it makes the black people feel, but it probably makes some of them feel patronized, I would think. Thank you, Tucker. So I saw your show, I saw your segment about uh, racism, Roseanne Barr. We're both uh -huh. good to agree that racism is real. We both agree that racism goes two ways. Yeah. What we're saying is that racial disparities, if you look at our country, the color of your skin is a predictor of how long you'll live, what kind of economic level you'll be in, um, and other factors. And so what we're saying is that... It's actually, uh, Cameron, as someone who's familiar with the numbers, let me just say it's not quite that simple. I mean, yeah. broadly, maybe, but, I mean, African immigrants to this country have higher income levels than native-born white Americans. So it's not quite as not well, quite, black and white fine. as you're suggesting. Um, so, and I guess that's kind of the point that I am making, is that not all black mm -hmm. people are the same, not all white people are the same. You have different attitudes, yeah. different income levels. And this kind of suggests they are because you're saying if you're a certain color, you're in one category. If you're in an another color, you're in another category. That makes me uncomfortable. Why does it make you uncomfortable? What well, we're saying that racism is real and that racial disparities exist. And so we're offering a solution saying that we are calling on folks from a privileged demographic to pay into a solution and invest in the leadership of black, brown, and indigenous people. By paying we for don't the care cocktails? about exceptions, we <laughs> care about the facts. And the okay. facts state that racial disparities exist, and Brown Hope has offered solutions for us to build so let, let me just ask you this. the impacts of racism. Okay, I'm not, mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's a very clever deal you got going. Pay for my drinks and everything will I be fine. I am clever. Thank you, Tucker. <laughs> I'm Thank I'm you. I'm very breath. clever. You are an entrepreneur in a, in a hilarious way. But let me just ask this. Would it make you feel... Who would have thought that a tiny event that already happened in Portland and now I'm on Fox News, now New York Times well, is covering I think it. It's this was a clever not... event. We <laughs> elevated reparations. I, and we're, I agree. I agree. I'm genius. No, so we're real but, let me, but let me ask you this. <laughs> Would it make you uncomfortable if mm -hmm. someone who made less than you did paid mm -hmm. for your meal or your drinks because you were a different mm -hmm. color? Would that make you feel uncomfortable? So what we're looking at is the real wealth disparity in our country, and we know that the wealth disparity between blacks and whites is between is around 10 to 1. So we know no, that the disparity that's is real. Not, hold so, on. No, no, so no, no. What's that, your, that's what's your speaking in general Give me your terms. Counterfact. Well, I already gave you one of my counterfacts, which is African immigrants make more than white Americans on average. Are you, are are you not comfortable always... talking about the realities of this country? Well, actually, because yeah. I'm not giving threw, you. You're upset that reality. I'm using general terms. You're no, no, upset I, that I'm using guess, statistics. No, no. What, uh, no you seem I actually, uncomfortable. I th <laughs> I'm amused. <laughs> But let me ask you this. <laughs> me too. Does it make you uncomfortable to generalize on the basis mm -hmm. of race in the way that mm -hmm. you are, despite the fact you're making money from it, which, again, as a capitalist, I applaud. I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing scam. But does it make you uncomfortable at all? Scam. It is. No, so even looking at the civil rights movement, we saw that racial disparities existed, and you could be like, oh, generally, some people in the civil rights era were doctors, or some people could vote. So we've always had exceptionalism. But in the general fact, look at the facts. The facts matter, and we know that racial disparities exist. So empowerment exist. is like paying, no, but I guess the, the, we're the being part resourceful. that I love. We're and, working and, with our partners <laughs> to invest in this, this work. We were successful. Uh -huh. We were successful. Send Brown me Hope a guilt offering. Pay for my drinks. The, 
Yeah, you are winning. You are winning this, this game. You are the winner. I love that. Cameron and is I can tell you, the majority of people who came to the, we got $10 in cash, and the majority of folks who did. were there, they spent did. that money on gas, gave that uh, money to friends, paid for so rent. Good. This was not about alcohol. We raised a great issue. We called it happy hours. And but you, you made know money. What? This event was about. You made money, we Cameron. Did. That's right. We you, elevated reparations. Uh -huh. We elevated reparations. Good job. Because good job. Are, are you right. a, we're, unfortunately, Tucker, we're out of time. I'd love to. You're a capitalist. I know that. I thought I was a capitalist until I met you.